At the moment, the force is refusing to allow the distribution of a comic produced by Christian police officers. Among the stories it tells is that of a black youth who stabs a white man, then turns away from crime when he finds God. But the Met says it has to consult widely with all faith and ethnic groups before giving permission for it. Gareth Furby has more. I pulled out my knife and I stabbed him. Fifteen years ago, Des Brown was a killer. Now he's a youth worker at a Christian church, and his life story has been made into a comic strip. I had a normal childhood in the East End of London, where I grew up and still live. But from about 14, I got drawn into drugs and street crime, muggings, robbery, and that sort of thing. The purpose of the comic is to put across um, a story that people's lives can change by the power of Jesus Christ. That's the point of the comic. The power of God changed my life. The comic has been produced by the Christian Police Association in London, which wants it handed out in police cells. It features other stories about criminals who turn to Christianity and change their ways. But at the moment, Scotland Yard won't allow the comic to be handed out. I would say it is frustrating and it is disappointing. Uh, because we know the value of a publication such as this on, pe uh, on people's lives. Scotland Yard has launched a consultation process and a spokesman said it is essential that we respond effectively to the needs of all faith groups and that the potential impact of any initiative is carefully considered. But one critic says this delay is unnecessary. On the face of it, it's clearly another example, the latest example of police political correctness. It's, it's hypersensitivity. There's been no complaint about this. What's their problem? The purpose of the comic isn't to portray whether it's a black or a white person. It's to portray how lives can be changed. And when Jesus touches lives, he doesn't look at whether they're black or white. Scotland Yard says it has to consult all faiths and all ethnic groups. Meanwhile, some Christian police officers, and there are more than a thousand in the Met, have been praying that the comic will be distributed. Gareth Furby, BBC London News.